Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today we're diving back into the new Paradise Lost Incursion. In this one, I want to let you all know how you can obtain all of the secret rewards and collectibles from the Incursion. You may have run Paradise Lost, came across a comm or two, and thought that was it. Far from it. It turns out this Incursion has a lot of secrets to uncover, from lore entries, artifacts, backpack trophies, and masks. Fortunately, I've gone through and collected the vast majority of those, and I found out how to acquire the ones that I have not yet. In the event that further hidden rewards are discovered, I will update with a pinned comment on the video, but for now, this video will be going over every hidden reward and collectible from Paradise Lost, as well as showing you how to get them. If you enjoy guides and content like this, then be sure to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out. It would be super appreciated, but let's get right to it. There will be timestamps for each reward in the description so that you can skip around to any specific item you may be wondering about, but let's break this down by category. Starting with the comms, aka the audio lore entries. Paradise Lost has gotten its own section within the collectible communications tab, and there are 10 comms in total to collect from the Merit Estate. The first five are all within the world for you to go and pick up, so let's cover those first. The first one you're going to find immediately after completing the first encounter of the incursion with the turrets once you enter into the settlement gate you're going to want to jump up onto the walkway on your right and at the end of it next to a dead division agent you'll find your first comm the second comm is almost immediately after this one once you hop through the window into the interior of the estate walk through this doorway and into the computer monitor room and the second comm will be waiting on the desk now we're actually going to skip ahead briefly to the fourth comm because it requires you to prep something at this point in the mission before you're able to actually collect it later on. So what you're going to want to do, this is the room immediately after defeating the tanker defense encounter. This is the room that the Moss boss awaits you in once the door bursts open. You take him out, then you and your team need to open the door at the top of the stairs and prompt the next objective tracker. And then once that happens, you'll find this painting, which is located on the right hand side of the door if you were looking back at where you came in from. If you approach it, you'll see that it has an interact prompt on it, and doing so will remove it from the wall, revealing a button behind, and clicking it will open up a panel for the wall behind you, drop a key to be grabbed. Do this and then continue on with the mission for now and we'll come back to it shortly. Looping back for the third comm, you're just going to need to reach this room, and that's just shortly after where we were just at. It's the one directly before you enter the library with the hidden passageway. All you need to do is approach this door on the right, aim through it, up at the hole in the ceiling, shoot the electrical box, and bam, you're in, and the third comm awaits you. Now to circle back to the actual collection of the fourth comm, that key that we grabbed will come to play once you defeat the right boss, and in the hallway immediately after his encounter, you'll come across this room blocked off by golden bars. All you have to do is run around the hall from there and it turns out that key that you picked up will allow you to open this wooden door and the fourth comm will be waiting for you on this table. Lastly, for the fifth comm, you're just going to want to head down the ladder from that last one that we just collected until you reach this area where there are two doors. Frankly, it will get pretty convoluted if I try and explain this step in words. So allow the gameplay to speak for itself here and show you the steps on how to get the fifth comm. And once you do all that, the fifth comm will be waiting for you right here. So those are the first five comms, and as we covered, they are all on the Merit Estate terrain waiting to be collected, but how do we get the other five to complete the set of ten? Well, these all come from boss drops, so in case you don't for whatever reason, always be sure to run over the boss loot piles, and when these drop, they will be added directly to your inventories. I believe each boss will drop one on your first clear, and then the rest will be picked up in reruns. And then yeah, you'll have all ten comms. Next, we get to the three artifacts Paradise Lost has to collect. This section has not been used in the game for a while, but under the Collectible Artifacts tab, the Merit Estate now has its own set, and there are three to collect. The first one is called Novel, and you get this by being the player to interact with the hidden book switch in the library. If you've played the incursion, then you'll know that this is a necessary interaction to continue with the mission, and it also can only be pressed once. So if you've already played Paradise Lost and you weren't the one to click the hidden book, you will need to play it again in order to pick this up. Lock and Key is the second artifact, and you will get this via the Lovebirds boss fight. All you need to do is kill Johnson before you kill Martinez, and once the encounter is complete, you will be rewarded with it. The last artifact, Drone Kid, is the exact opposite. In the Lovebirds fight, you'll need to take out Martinez before you take out Johnson. For those who have played Paradise Lost, you'll know that this makes the fight considerably harder, but do that, and upon completion, you will be awarded with the third and final artifact. 
And then we get to the two hidden physical item rewards that Paradise Lost has to offer. First is this pretty sweet backpack charm. It's modeled off of the Wright boss, aptly named Wright the Hellfire. Now this reward will drop directly from Wright's loot pile once you defeat him. However, there is a specific condition you need to meet during the fight in order for it to drop, as was confirmed by Yannick. And from my testing and investigation, that is that you need to complete the right encounter flawlessly, meaning no members of your team can go down. Now, this is just for the right fight specifically. You do not need to worry about if you went down previously or afterwards. It's just for rights encounter specifically. No one can go down and you will be awarded with it upon completion. And one important note is that if you attempt this and fail it, meaning someone does go down, you can wipe and retry from the very same run. There's no need to restart the entire incursion. Just redo rights fight, do it flawlessly, and the backpack trophy will await. And that brings us to our final reward, the right mask. Now this is the one reward that I do not have, but I do have pictures. Shout out to Ronin over on Twitter whose team got this. But this mask is once again modeled off of the right boss, looks pretty sweet. Now there's a reason that I don't have this one, and that is because it is definitely the toughest one to collect out of this entire list. What you have to do is complete the entire Paradise Lost incursion flawlessly, meaning no one on your team can go down through the entire thing, all the way from the opening encounter until you defeat the lovebirds and all the NPCs in that fight. It goes without saying, but I will clarify that yes, if anyone goes down during your run, you would need to restart the entire incursion in order to be eligible. But yeah, it is a tough challenge. At least there is a pretty sweet reward waiting for you on the other side. So there you have it, folks. That is every hidden collectible artifact and secret rewards there are to be collected from the Paradise Lost incursion. Again, for now, maybe there is something else lurking out there. I have a good feeling this is everything. As I said, though, if anything changes, I will update the pinned comment down below. But I very much hope you all enjoyed the guide. Do let me know your thoughts on everything. How are you feeling about the Paradise Lost incursion? How many of these rewards have you picked up and which ones do you still want to go after? I want to hear about it all, so leave it down below. And that is going to do it for me today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Rogue Gold. Out.